Hi together, today I get my delivery with the Raspberry Pi high quality camera and I also ordered the both optics they advise. So let's unbox it and see what are the benefits. So yeah, you're getting a heavy piece, metal piece. One thing I'd like quite interesting is the HD camera V10 and the year 2008, but now we have 2020, so why it is 2018, but okay. So what you're getting also in the thing is a small screwdriver, a really small one for fixing this here. You're getting also this uh, CCS mount adapter. You're getting those uh, optics. The smaller one is the wide view. This uh, six millimeter, you use it without the adapter. And the big one, oh, it's quite heavy to get out. It looks like this, so bigger, heavier, but both are from metal. So what's the comparison to the normal V2 module? Is the change of the Sony image chip, which has uh, one third more pixels, and also those pixels are 40% bigger than uh, those on the old camera, the V2.1. You are not able to use the mount, so I see the big difference in size. But one good news is you have here this uh, normal tripod stand thread, and but you are also capable to unscrew those so it's safe wide. And this is the comparison. So, on the smaller one, you're getting uh, the top one is the aperture control. You can close the aperture or open it quite smooth. And the focus is more like a thread, you can turn and turn and turn and turn. If you set the aperture, you don't see uh, how far open or close is it in comparison to the more expensive lens with 16 millimeter. You're getting also this for far and near, but you have only around 90 degree. But the good thing is you see here the aperture which starts by 1.4 and goes up to 16. You can attach this new camera to every board, also to the Pi Zero if you use one of those small adapters from the normal camera pitch to a finer one. So this was the unboxing. The projects I like to use the camera is for a small pick and place machine. I will use this for recognition of the parts. If you take them out to take to see their orientation. And this camera I will use on the moving head, on the picking head to see where it have to be placed. And also to register the board how it's laying in the machine. So yeah, stay tuned for updates and thank you for watching. Bye!